Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, shockwave trailer title animation in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. Here you can see, I have already imported reflection map, particle media file, shockwave media file and smoke media file. You can download these files, from the link given in the description. So without any wait, let's start creating trailer title. Create a new composition. Name it as screen 1. As usual set width and height to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Make sure frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. Here we will set time duration to 2 seconds. Perfect. First, we will add text, so let's add text. Here I am using Railway Font Family. You need to make sure, paragraph alignment is set to center text. Here I will slightly adjust the font size. Now let's align the text to center. Let's change text to faux italic. Perfect. Now for text, let's add tracking. In animate, select tracking. Make sure you are at start of the timeline. Now create keyframe for tracking amount. Now at end of timeline, Change tracking amount to 15. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add the subtext. Let's align text to center. Let's reduce the font size. Position it below the main text layer. Perfect. Perfect. Select both text layers. Now let's pre-compose it, name it as text1. Now let's add reflection map image to timeline. Let's adjust the scale value. Now in effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to reflection map image. Now you need to increase output width value, and output height value. Select mirror edge. For reflection map, let's slightly adjust the position. Perfect. Now at start of the timeline, Create keyframe for tile center. Now at end of the timeline, change tile center value for x axis, as shown. For reflection map, in effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to reflection map image. Now adjust the curves as shown. Now in effects and preset, Search for Gaussian Blur. Add it to Reflection Map Image. Now set Blurriness to 70. Now create a new solid layer. Name it as Noise. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Fractal Noise. Add it to Noise Layer. Change fractal type to dynamic. 
Now set contrast value to 1000. Change brightness to minus 100. Now in in effects and preset. Search for Gaussian blur. Add it to noise layer. Set blurriness to 120. Set blur dimensions to vertical. Fine noise layer, set mode to screen. Now select reflection map and noise layer, pre-compose them. Name it as reflection. Now for reflection composition, change track map to alpha matte text 1. For reflection composition, in effects and preset, search for CC blob eyes. Add it to reflection composition. In blowiness, change blob layer to text. Set property to alpha. Change softness value to 3. Change cutaway value to 0. In shading, change ambient value to 80. Change diffuse value to 50. Change speculator 0. Perfect. Now select both compositions, pre-compose them. Name it as text reflection. Now change text reflection composition to 3D. Now press P to bring up position. Now add 10 frames, create keyframe for position. Now add start of the timeline. Adjust the position value for z-axis as shown. Perfect. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now let's add the shockwave media file to timeline. Place it below text reflection composition. For shockwave media file, press S to bring up the scale, set scale value to 200. Here if you want you can also scale your text. Now for shockwave media file, press T to bring up the opacity. Now add 5 frames. Create keyframe for opacity. Now at start of the timeline, change opacity value to 0. Now select the ellipse tool. Create mask for shockwave as shown. Adjust mask feather value to near about 60. Now let's add particle media file to timeline. Now add smoke media file to timeline. For smoke media file, change mode to screen. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to adjustment layer. Here you can set any color you want for your background. Now in effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to adjustment layer. Now you need to adjust the curves, as shown. Now place the adjustment layer below text reflection composition. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as frame. Place it above the text reflection composition. Now select rectangle tool. Now create mask as shown. 
change mode to subtract. Now let's see the preview. Perfect, similarly you need to create more slides and create your trailer. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.